We're all loaded up. What's going on in your bitch? Fill her up. 66 cents isn't bad. know what gear I was in. <laughs> the little piece of plastic that marks what gear you're in came off so it's just spinning around. But on the bright side, I know I have a very good grasp on the feel of the engine of this bad boy. I know my I know my car well. Let's go camp now. I didn't I don't know. This is more fun than camping I think. I just love driving this thing. <laughs> First camping session of the summer. Finally feels like summer. It's like 80 something degrees. It's actually perfect out here right now. We decided to rent a canoe for the night because we are camping on a private island tonight. It's an island right in the middle of the river in downtown Chattanooga. And I've been to the island before and I had no idea that you could camp there. When you reserve it, you're the only people who have it. So you can have up to like 25 people there, but it's just the two of us tonight. We're loading up the canoe now. Let's go. Kramer is not here. I booked this with the intention of bringing Kramer. And then after I reserved it and paid, I realized it says no dogs because it's technically a bird sanctuary. And so they don't want dogs there for good reason. So he is hanging out with our dog sitter for the night. It's his new best friend. It'll, he's fine. He's great, but I do miss him. So we usually pack light, but the backpack is just, I know it's overkill for one night, but it's got both of our camping gear in it, everything we need. The black bag is all camera gear. We packed our camping chairs and then I don't remember what I put in that little backpack. I think it's just like, I think it's dinner. <laughs> and then the drone. We have our, we have our drone. So you could do this with a lot less gear if you really wanted to. you don't know what Publix is, it's a staple of Florida culture and it's moved itself up to Tennessee and they have some of the best subs around. They don't usually look like this. Dang it. As long as it tastes good. It's probably soggy. It is so squished. Let's eat. I think if you were to tell me I was in this island in between two sides of Chattanooga, it's kind of hard to grasp. It's a very quaint, quiet, peaceful island. I mean, sure, you can hear like a bridge, you know, off in the distance, but you're in between the city. This is nice. It's peaceful. So it's primarily a bird sanctuary. We didn't add that down, that's real. Cute birds. I've been living in Chattanooga for three years and we've seen this island, I've seen this island, Sarah's grown up here, she has seen this island 
We've been to this island. We've been to this island. So we've seen it and we've been to it. Never knew you could camp at it. I mean, sleepy. we've even we've even seen this sign. We just never took the time to read it and, and that, it, that it says, if you want a camp spot, scan the QR code. It's always fun to find things in your own backyard that you didn't know existed because just because you've been in a place for a long time doesn't mean you know everything about it. Don't forget your allergy medicine though, I'm sniffling. Sarah's having a hard time with allergies right now. Not me, I took my Claritin today. I took my Claritin too, it's she, just not enough. She, yeah. So we have a busy summer planned and we thought that before we set out on our road trips and international travels and all that kind of thing, they'd probably be good just to get one little summer adventure here in town first. We just really want an excuse to drive the tuk-tuk for a while, break out the tent and just, I don't know, relax, be out in the nice weather that finally arrived in Tennessee because it has been such a cold spring. This is nice. Just to be clear that there, there are tons of campgrounds in the Chattanooga area, but we were kind of questioning if our tuk-tuk would get up to them. Or if it should. We have another truck, but we just really wanted to drive the tuk-tuk for a while. <laughs> it's gonna have to stay behind for the next road trip. Yeah, so just know you can find other campgrounds here, but if you have to go up a mountain, we're not we're not gonna take the tuk-tuk right now. This is the only campground in the city too. I, and by campground, I mean, I think it's one spot. I don't think there's multiple spots. So if you wanna get an urban camping experience, as urban as a small town in the South can be, <laughs> this is it. We're about to kayak over to Domino's. So the sun is setting, we're gonna get in the tent and then we will wake up here on the river. Well, it's our bedtime, it's past nine. I'd be lying if I said we stayed up later than this most nights. Actually, we do go to bed around 9.30 or 10. When I reserved this campsite, there was a line in the email that they sent, and they said, there's great wildlife on the island. There's turkeys and geese and all sorts of other birds, and there's a very healthy raccoon population. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, except for I guess they're really bad. Whew. I'm scared of what I'm gonna see up there. Snakes climb up there too. Yeah, I'm ready for bed. I'm tired. Let's go. Ricky comes, Ricky comes. Sarah's headlamp is so bright that it's probably blinding you directly in the camera and it's blinding me when I look at it. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Birds are really loud. So this is a real we slept in the tent shot. You feel good? Not really, actually. I usually sleep great in this tent. I did not sleep well. <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful place, but... There were barges going by last night. Yeah, it was loud. Typically, we would have woken up, set up the tripod outside the tent, and then act like we were waking up, but... We don't have time for that. We don't, yeah, we don't have time for that. if we do that. All right, let's go. let's go. There is something about waking up really early and getting to see the sun roll in on a new day. Last night, while we were sleeping, it was fine. It was, I mean, we heard barges through the river, and, um, which, you know, it, it's just a part of it. But uh, this morning while we were waking up, it, it was like this symphony of birds <laughs> were just going off. And you can still hear them now, but you really didn't need an alarm clock. You uh, had the birds to, to help you out. Do you like coffee? I thought she would never ask. Honest.
friend folk, the coffee that goes wherever you roam. <laughs> it's the first time I've gotten to take camping though. This is fun. I don't have to pack the soggy grounds out because we're definitely going to bring coffee in one form or another. All around us, people are on their morning rush hour commute and we're just sitting on an island making coffee. We have to work today too, but this is nice. This section is not sponsored because we own the company. <laughs> Sarah's going to be Vanna White right now. She's going to show you how this whole instant coffee thing works. I'm Vanna White again. Show me Vanna White. This is the hardest part is tearing it open because it's, it's not just paper. There's like a layer inside that protects the coffee so it doesn't get wet even if the paper gets wet, which is really nice if you're camping. But slightly, I mean, it's not hard. Oh, that was much easy. That was easy. It, is, it does have a little bit of a tear to it, which is good. Yeah. For, oh, wow, that's so fast. There's no editing magic. It takes 30 seconds. And it tastes good. It does. I, have, I can't taste it yet. It's too hot. But I know what it tastes like. Yeah. Oh. Why, why did you just deep out of Sorry. my hand like that? <laughs> <laughs> and the beautiful thing is since this is a pack in, pack out kind of place, this is all we have to pack out. It's nice. You know, a lot of places that we camp, a lot of campgrounds, sorry, I'm hunching over, it's on the tripod. I haven't seen any garbage, so you have to pack it out, which if you come here, know that. But, like, bring a trash bag, pack everything out, but surprisingly clean. I, that is not common in Tennessee. I feel like Tennessee, a lot of people in Tennessee don't take care of the trails that well. Not everybody. There's a really good group of people who leave no trace. But, typically in Tennessee, you see a lot more trash in the trails than you do out west but not here. This is really nice and very clean. Audubon Society, thank you so much for sharing this with us. This was fun. So this is our little home. It's a, just if you're curious, it's a big Agnes and they call it a bike packing tent versus backpacking, which is something we really want to do because the tent, when it's packed up, it like fits right between the handlebars and a bike. So it's nice and small, but this is the little, t I'll, I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in it, but this is it. I've already gotten my stuff out, but Chris has his little sleeping pad in here still. So it's wider on one end down here and then it gets narrower. So the head goes here, go all the way down. And then we usually hang this little light up here. Got little pockets, one by each of our head, which is nice for phones, headphones. And then we always sleep with all of our camera gear just in case. And there's nobody else here, but I was worried about the raccoons. So home sweet home. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. Did you? I did. I wish we had Kramer. I missed him. And I wish we had a little longer. We have to get back and work today. I actually have a hair appointment. I gotta get my hair cut this morning. <laughs> but just loading up the tuk-tuk and going camping in town was just, it was a fun experience. It was just like the perfect way to start summer. I feel like this is the first, like this is the official launch of summer to me. And Memorial Day is next week, but we're just getting a jump start on it all. <laughs> so happy summer.
<laughs> then you tried to run away. <laughs> Got our morning coffee. That's it. Good morning travels coming soon. But happy summer, y'all. For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.